you'll notice no hard drive light. It's hard drive right there. So this is booting off an 8 gigabyte Class 6 SDHC card uh, with a 4 gig partition. You'll see I get one drive map error just because I think Grub was done by the IDs. Here's my fail. It's just looking because uh, when it was installed, it's getting confused between the internal drive and the flash drive. Again, no hard drive activity. It's all running off the flash. Uh, so this is running at 630 megahertz. Sat on. 2 gigs of RAM. Uh, power management seems to be working. Still pretty decently quick. Sound doesn't get initialized right away. Um, it has something to do with using the function keys in the software. And it never remembers my wireless password for some reason. But I can fix that later. So we'll just open up Firefox. While it's connecting to my wireless. Oh, and you can see all the uh, CompWiz works just fine. Still nice and smooth. Bring up a YouTube video, flash video. And you see I have my sound buttons. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be reviewing my Xbox 360 copy of Soul Calibur 4. This is my first time ever doing a video review, so excuse my voice since I don't have a very good talking voice. Turn the screen for you here. If you want me to sum up Soul Calibur 4 in just a quick little nutshell, uh, it's a great start on the next gen consoles, but it isn't exactly the big step that Soul Calibur 2 was to Soul Calibur 1. It's more like a better tweaked edition with online and better graphics. It's probably the best Steve. if not compared to Dead Life 4 on this generation of consoles right now. It's worth a buy if you're a fan. Very usable.